you guys this is a real neat project here. This is a riprap wall that uh, took a good beating during Hurricane Sally. It's class one riprap, which is uh, easy for most people to install or easier. Um, doesn't take a whole lot of equipment. You can actually do it with wheelbarrows. But unfortunately, the class one riprap is so small that it doesn't really hold its position against a storm surge and wave action. It kind of just gets knocked around all over the place and lays off flat. So uh, what we're going to do here is come in, we're going to restack this rock or actually move it out. I'm going to build a uh, what I call a poor man seawall behind it. It's just a real economical way of holding the filter cloth up in place. If you can keep that filter cloth maintained in the same place, then you've got a real definitive edge as far as where the rock stops and your soil and sod starts. You can edge it. It actually looks like you've got a seawall, but it's just a um, it's just some boards and framing that holds up the filter cloth. I go in a triple filter cloth up. It's some really tough stuff, so as long as you're real careful with it, you don't poke any holes in it, it's going to do a good job. The same type of job it's going to do if it's just laying underneath the rock, but at least you've got a nice straight edge to determine uh, the rock in the uh, in the uh, sod. You'll see if when you look at it uh, the difference it makes. It's really cool. Some that I came up with just to kind of hold the cloth right because when you go to install riprap and if you're dumping it um, with tractors and stuff it has a tendency to bunch up and pull down you can't keep a nice straight line and then you're always adding some more filter cloth on the back side. We also like to go with a class 2 and a class 3 riprap which is a lot bigger rock. It goes up to 100, 150 to 250 pounds. Uh, that tends to stay in place whenever a storm surge comes. So what I'm going to do is leave all the small rock at the base, give it a real good base, stack the bigger rock on top of it, and that should be fine uh, with the hurricanes coming in. Appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you haven't liked it, like it, subscribe, and uh, give me a thumbs up. Uh, can't believe how much I've grown. I've got like 1,700 subscribers, which isn't a lot, but to me it's a lot and it means a lot. So uh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. More shots of the rock here. Said, it's not really a wall it's just a way of holding the filter cloth in place when you stack the rock against it and you bring your dirt up against it, it gives you a nice defining edge between the rock and the dirt you got 54 tons of limestone installed along the shoreline here got it up to the uh, retainer wall that we built 
looks real good. Here's the complete pictures of the uh, retainer wall we just did. What I like to call a four man sea wall. This is that kind of way of filter cloth up behind the rock. So you've got a defined edge between the rock and the dirt, and it doesn't just all wash down on the path. Uh, it gives you a good, even, nice, even edge for a grass cut. Also, filter cloth nice and tight. And we've got three layers of filter cloth behind the shore. Hey y'all, really means a lot that y'all watch my video and check out what we do. I appreciate it. If there's anything y'all like to see or got any questions about, please feel free to leave me a message in the comments. If they get monotonous, let me know. I just think it's pretty interesting watching what's going on. A lot of people like seeing how these projects are put together. But if you got any comments, leave me a comment. Give me a like. Give me a share on Facebook if you got a Facebook page. I uh, appreciate it. My page is definitely growing, so thanks a lot. We'll keep up the work. Here's a little sneak peek of a project we're working on over here in the bayou. That's another Hurricane Sally damaged dock. The um, storm surge got underneath the uh, boardwalk and just lifted it right up. The cross ties were bolted on, but the framing was not bolted on. It looks like it just rusted off, so it just pulled loose from the pilings. And on the center platform, it actually lifted that platform up. I've already taken a vibrator and vibrated it back down. But uh, we're going to go ahead and remove a lot of this uh, framing here because the boards are busted underneath of it from this being beat around with the storm. And go ahead and reframe uh, it, rebolt it, and then we're going to put a Timber Tech um, dark mahogany look uh, decking on top of it. It's going to look real nice. It'll all be uh, banded out with the side band on it, also. Got a little bit of work to do on the boat lift. The uh, boat was loose in the uh, or in the slip during the storm, so it kind of banged up the bunks a little bit. So we're going to change those bunks out. Then we're going to go back. We're going to cap this off with some uh, black piling caps, kind of match the dark uh, decking we're putting on, and replace the uh, white piling bumpers with a uh, black uh, piling bumper also. If you notice the, uh, the bottom boards on here are rough cut salt treated because the tide gets so high or the stock is so low here. We've also bolted that with uh, stainless steel bolts on the lower section there. So um, it's got good survivability rate, you know, for a long term. Stay tuned, and as soon as I get this project here done, I'll get it posted so you can see exactly what went into uh, getting this put together.